Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a little throwback to episode 5 of Matthew's Guyanese Cooking. That's right guys, three years ago I posted my fifth episode and that was for same curry. For anybody who doesn't know what same is, it's also known as velour beans here in the US and it's a very amazing vegetable to utilize in a curry dish like I'm going to do today. So I'm going to revisit that recipe but instead of making it plain, I'm going to be doing it with edo and shrimp. So stay tuned if you want to see how to make this delicious curry. The first thing that I'm going to do is start by steaming my shrimp or browning my shrimp. So in a heavy bottom pan, I'm going to go in with a couple tablespoons of oil. And then once that heats up, I'm going to go in with my washed, peeled and deveined shrimp. I'm using some red shrimp today, but if you had any of those fine Guyana shrimp or any other type of shrimp that you'd like to use, feel free to use that in this dish. The reason why I like to go ahead and brown them off or steam them is because I like to get any of those juices out of it that may cause them to taste a little rank or fishy. And literally after about a minute, all of those juices evaporated and I'm going to go ahead and transfer them into a little bowl and set them to the side. Remember, you do not want to overcook these shrimp because they will be going into the curry later on to finish off. Now into that same pan where you browned your shrimp, you're going to go in with some sliced onions and some finely chopped scallions. We're going to stir that around for just about one to two minutes until those two aromatics soften up a bit. And after about a minute or two, once your onions and the scallions soften up a bit, you're going to go in with your curry paste. So in my bowl here, I have some curry powder, some masala, as well as some garlic and hot pepper that I've ground up together. I also added in a little bit of green seasoning just because I had it on hand. All of my ingredients and my measurements will be in the description box down below. So make sure to check out below the video so you can see exactly what I put in here with their measurements. Now, once you add this curry paste in with your onions and your scallions, you might want to add in just a few tablespoons of water, just so this way we can pick up any of those brown bits that formed at the bottom of the pan. You sort of want to do that because the shrimp left a couple of bits, so you really want to pick those up so nothing burns. And at this point, I'm going to allow this mixture to cook for about five to six minutes or until the oil starts to release back from this mixture and until the mixture gets a little darker and grainy. And while your curry paste is cooking down, you want to go in with just a little bit of salt so this way we can start to build up the flavors of this curry. And after about five minutes, you guys are going to see that all of that oil starts to release from the spice mixture. The mixture has dried up really well and it is starting to catch just a little bit at the bottom. At this point, I am going in with my same. Now, as I was saying before, same is also known as velour beans here in the US. If you cannot find them fresh, I know that there are some Indian grocery stores that sell velour beans frozen. And once you add your same into the curry mixture, you want to allow this to bunge or fry up with all of those seasonings for just about one to two minutes. This way, it'll soak up those flavors. And after about one to two minutes, once that same has had a chance to fry up with all of those seasonings, it is time to go in with a little bit of water. Now, what I'm going to do here is only cover it about halfway. I'm going to cover this and reduce my heat to a medium, medium low, and I'm going to allow this to cook for about five to 10 minutes. Now, after about eight minutes exactly, this is what my same looks like. As you guys can see, it's softened up just a little bit and all of that water has thickened up a lot. So at this point, I'm going to go in with all of my edos. Now, I just have about two edos, two small edos that I've cut up into small pieces, and I've washed it really well after I peeled it, and I'm adding it straight in here. Once you stir it up, you're going to add in some extra water again to cover this entire mixture about halfway. And then you're going to cover it and leave it on that medium to medium low heat and allow this mixture to cook until the edos are perfect and tender on the inside. So my same and edos have been cooking for about 15 minutes at this point. As you guys can see, the edos have cooked down really well. The gravy's gotten very thick and everything's cooked perfectly. This is the right time to go ahead and add in those shrimp that we had steamed earlier. And once you add the shrimp in, you're going to stir this up and you're going to allow it to steam for just about one minute so the shrimp can marry with everything. You're going to give it a quick taste for any salt or seasonings you may want to adjust. And then this is ready to serve. As you guys can see, the same curry is not a very liquidy curry. It is nice and dry. It is something that's best served with dal and rice, in my opinion. Very, very delicious stuff. So if you guys enjoy this recipe today, don't forget to give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. Drop those comments down below and let me know what I have to make for you guys next. And I'll see you guys again very soon in one of my next videos. Bye everyone.